Hi everyone, this is Donna and I'm going to show you how to use OBS Studio for basic screencasting. Uh, to install, go to their website obsproject.com and select your operating system and then install as usual. Uh, you might need to give it permissions to install programs that are not from the App Store. Um, I'm going to cancel because I already have it. And this is what it looks like. Um, one thing I need to tell you from the beginning is that it does not have a pause button. Uh, so with OBS, you cannot pause. What you can do is just stop and then start a new recording. And then you're going to have to edit it. Just use a video editor to put all the recordings together. Now, let's have a look at the settings. There are many, many settings here, but you don't need to worry about them for basic screencasting. Um, let's go to output. So one thing that you might want to do is to set up a recording path here uh, where you want your videos to go. Uh, so you just click browse and then, you know, find a folder and then uh, use that. Otherwise, you might find that you don't know where your videos are. Uh, and then the recording format, the default will be FLV, but maybe you want to change to MP4 because that's um, safer format for, it, it can be used for um, editing by, by any video editor. Um, another thing you might want to do is to set up some hotkeys. Um, so I used here the asterisk because I probably won't need to use the asterisk while I'm recording. So this way I don't need to go to this button all the time. I can just press that when I start and when I want to stop. Um, you could also do the audio from here. Uh, but um, if that changes from recording uh, to recording, then you, you probably uh, just want to do it from this um, from the settings of the microphone here. So you go to properties and then choose your device. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use built-in microphone for now. Okay, now as you can see, we only have microphone here. Um, on a Mac, we don't have uh, the possibility to record system audio. Um, the way to do that, if you need to record, you could install additional software that helps you do that. That is a bit more complicated. Or an easy solution is to just make sure you have a good microphone and turn up the volume and just capture the volume uh, from your desktop with your microphone. Uh, it's not a very elegant solution, but it works. Um, another thing to know that's good to know about is uh, you might find that after you've recorded something, your audio and video are a little bit out of sync. So in that case, you go here to mixer and just set up a sync offset. Mine is at 400 milliseconds. Um, you, yours might be 200 or 300. Just uh, play with it and see when, when it looks right. Now, another thing here you have, um, this is good to know, show recordings. Um, in case you didn't set up a path or you forgot what it is, you can just go here and it's going to show you where they are um, after you're done. Okay, now to get started with the recording, um, for uh, this introduction, we're only going to use one scene, so don't worry about this. and. Don't worry about scene transitions, but you need to set up the sources. So right now it's black. There's nothing in there. Um, we can add a um, window capture. Okay. So, oh, let me make this big first. Okay. So say, for example, I want to just use Word and write something on here and capture that then window capture is very useful because no matter what I do around here, you are not going to be capturing that. You're only going to be capturing this. Uh, the problem, however, 
in um, on a Mac, window capture does not let you capture the the cursor. So we can choose a window. Say I want to get um, where is it? Microsoft Word. And as you can see, I only see this, but there's no mouse. Um, so that's a downside to window capture. Okay. Right, and then you can adjust it and make it bigger, move it. Okay. So if you do want to capture your mouse, then you are better off with display capture. So I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to add display capture. Now the thing with display capture is I can see everything that's on my desktop, but you can uh, you can adjust that. So you can crop it, so you can crop it to window, say, and then choose your window. Say I want Microsoft Word, and then when I actually go to this, it's going to be exactly the size of my Microsoft Word window. Or we can just do it manual and crop it if saying uh, maybe I don't want to show this bar I don't want to show my name or I don't want to show my folders here and I can crop the top by 60 and the right I don't know, let's say 120 so you can see it cropped here so you can crop it or on, on any side okay all right so now I have my display capture um, I can move this one too, so it's in the middle because this is going to show this so black, it's going to show in your video so we can make it bigger. Okay. Okay. So adjust from there as well. And Another thing that people usually like to add is a camera. So then we go and we can get a video capture device. Okay, okay and then you need to choose your device. So in this case, it's just gonna be my um, Mac camera. Okay. And you have some uh, presets here. Now, if you're not going to use this to be very big, then you don't need very, very good quality. So you may as well just make it small. And then it just works a bit more smoothly. It will use less of your CPU here. Uh, okay. And you can still adjust it a bit more from here. The size, the position. Um, usually it's good to put it somewhere where it doesn't interfere with the rest of your recording. Okay. Um, of course you might want to just record yourself and then in that case you can just get rid of this, uh, no, sorry, get rid of this one. Okay. And then you just have your camera, you just make that full screen and then it's just you on there. Okay. Um, when you're ready to start recording, so you've got all your settings and your scene set up, then you just go to start recording or to your um, hotkey and then stop recording. And as you can see, the video is already here. So it's just instant as soon as you finish. All right. So that's it for basic screencasting. Uh, thanks for watching.